All right, greetings, my friends. Happy Monday morning, and it's break time at work, and you know what we do at break time. We come out to the van, and we do some modifications. So uh, this is the passenger area between the seat and the dash, and you've seen this before. I keep a bunch of stuff up here, right, because my seat's turned around backwards. Now, I've done some modifications. I started this morning before work. I was up about 6 a.m., and I was tinkering on this seat so uh here's the the problem i have it's just not enough space back here and this kind of blocks the side window with this thing here so let's see how we can fix that well look at that that looks different doesn't it how did that happen well i modified the rail system on this seat you know it's on a rail that slides forward and backward and if it's turned around like from the factory facing out the windshield you know, it, it lets uh, back a lot further than it lets forward. So I thought, you know, I got to get this seat out of the way of the window here. So um, I just moved the rail up. You can see where it used to be bolted, and now it's bolted through here. So what's that, a good six inches or so? So um, I've got more storage space back here. Um, and I can let this seat up forward when I'm driving so I can see out of the window and um, let's let this truck go by <laughs> I'm in the parking lot at work bear with me I know this is not ideal video situation okay so I put it back to the position where I'm sitting in the evening I've got it slid all the way back. I've got it slightly reclined. And you can see how that would be a problem trying to drive like that, right? Because the seat will only let forward to right here. Not much difference, is it? So, okay, again, reclined. See, that's a big problem right there. All right, let's move it back all the way forward. So if I put it in a position, let's say I've got to take a drive, this is the way it will be from now on, just like this. See, this position's a big difference. Let me brighten that up. I can clearly see out the passenger window. Nothing's blocking my view. I also have a window in that door there, which is open at the moment. So for, um, I don't know how I would like a cargo van without a glass in this passenger cargo door back here. Here, let's shut it, show you what I mean. Okay, there we go. I brightened it up now you can see what's going on in here so uh, yeah this is what's going on and uh, you see that board there that fits on the old seat mount underneath it and it presses up against my water jug so they can't slide backward and I have them um, ratchet strapped to the side over there so they can't slide this way and they can't slide forward because the platform of the floorboard goes upward right there at the end of this jug. So that's it. They're kind of squeezed in that spot right there. Ten gallons. And then my extra stuff. Drinking water, cleaning, and washing water. And that's just whatever ends up in whatever that other jug. All right. So, uh... Let's see, how do I explain this any better? It's, it's very difficult. You'll have to uh, unmount the seat. Oh, let me stop here. See that little wedge of wood there? Give me a shot. Right here. This is underneath the bracket just to level it up because it was too far down and a hole here. And of course, there's the old mount. There's nothing in that. I've got a ratchet strap to a cargo ring over here. Let's see if I can show you. There's the cargo ring. And those cargo rings hold like, you know, 1,500 pounds, so it's just as strong as the seat mount. Man, this is some great camera work. Well, this is what you get when I'm stressed for time <laughs> and I'm on a short break at work, but I did want to give you some valuable information, and I hope this helps as uh, subpar as it is. I think uh, if you watch it twice, you'll get an understanding of what's going on here with the seat. Push forward. So yeah, I've increased my distance. That's, that's probably about six inches or so. 
So, um, so I've only got the one bolt actually through the seat. And it's been this way for over two years. And the ratchet strap through the cargo ring. And it sits fine. It never, uh, it's tried to move around on me. And uh, it's amazing how much strength is in that once you get it level up with that little bright, that little board underneath it to flatten it out. All right, one more time, I'm gonna slide the seat back. So this is back in the seating position when I'm sitting in here, not driving, because you know it's in the way of your view over there out the window. And uh, that's uh, one more time, we'll wrap it up. And there's the position that the seat will be in when I'm actually taking a drive. All right, my friends. Greetings from the Matty Wagon. What a mess. Happy Monday. Take care. Be well. Smash the bell.